Should we get the generator ready? You get the generator. I think ready. it's time. <laughs> I think it's time. Amazingly, Four County Electric has kept our power on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is very unusual. That's, that's a first. <laughs> yeah. We've and been, we're so happy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. We're hours into a hurricane and the, and yeah. the, the uh, electric is still on. Like 12 hours. Yeah. All right. I'll get her started. Where is that? That is we've, we've had deaths please, please, in please, our please, area, please, please, uh, I guess, because of tornadoes. So yeah. If we hear a howling, we run downstairs yes. and hide in next to the air, air conditioner. Got it? Yeah. We're in the thick of it, and Farm Girl is making banana pancakes. Plantains. <laughs> hey, why aren't you looking at me? No. And it, it's normal. <laughs> Okay, so I'm having a little drama with my uh, with my little Honda generator, which is rare. Uh, it's a great generator, and I store it dry. I don't ever leave fuel in it uh, because it's an emergency generator. But what I'm going to have to do is uh, start it with some starter fluid. So I'm going to go and uh, get that right now because uh, I don't want to be without it as we get closer to a point where the power may go. Still have power, but uh, who knows for how long. Somebody's going to start a generator. So these are a couple of good things to have on hand. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to open up my uh, air filter. I should put that inside with all this wind we're getting. And what I'm going to do is see foam or just put some uh, starter fluid in there. And I, my choke is not on. So, and I'm not going to squirt myself in the eye. Now it wasn't starting earlier. There we go. Now I know I can get her started, right? Nice. Yeah, I was having problems earlier. I hate to I hate to do this, but why what is it? What's it's just gummed up a little bit. Huh? Gummed up a little bit. I don't I store it dry but there was apparently enough residue of what could be kind of an emergency start situation like a really if I really needed this thing right now which I don't but I may in a little while so I've taken my carburetor that this this uh, conduit from the air filter off of the off of the uh, carburetor and I'm just going to uh, pour a little sea foam the carburetor is open it's not in the choke position in there and uh, see if we can't get it short of short of taking the carburetor apart. See if we can't get this uh, resolved by just pouring some sea foam directly in there. And uh, letting it sit for just a couple of minutes. Got it, huh? All right. So here's what happened. <laughs> I was pouring. I was pouring sea foam in the uh, into the carburetor. I had taken this this part off, poured the sea foam in the carburetor. But in so doing, I leaned the machine too far, and I hydrolocked the engine with oil. You see, so then I had to take the spark plug cover off, which is here, because what happens is you get too much oil in between. Oil pours when you lean it like that. You oil can pour into the head mm -hmm. and block, and there'll be, there'll be so much oil between the head and the spark in the head by the spark plug that you won't uh, be able to. You won't even be able to turn it over. So I couldn't even pull this. So now I've taken that off, and I was able to pull 
you pull start and force the oil out of the head, it shoots out. Maybe mm -hmm. you film that, but you get the idea. So now watch. It'll come out here. start the generator and it would start. I got cocky because I had stored it without fuel thinking it would always start because it's a Honda and it was clean. Wouldn't start. We're in the middle of a hurricane. Hurricane. Only category one. Wouldn't start so I poured some sea foam in directly into the carburetor and let it sit for a minute. But what happened was I leaned the generator too far back and oil spilled into the head between the head and the spark plug. So then it was high, it was hydrolocked with oil and I couldn't even pull the cord at all. So what you do then is you take the spark plug out and you then crank it. I was able to crank it when there was, you know, when it, once I had it opened up and shoot the oil out of the head. And I put a paper, stuck the paper towel down in that, in that cavity so that it didn't go all into the, to the engine compartment shot the oil out of the head, put the spark plug back in, started it back up. By that time, the seafoam had been in the carburetor for quite a while, and it just started right up. So. Yay! Yay! Nice work. So that's how you do it. I'm sorry I didn't demonstrate the whole thing, but you get the idea. Uh, word of caution, remember when you're pouring seafoam into your uh, carburetor, don't lean your, your, at least this Honda generator, suitcase generator, don't lean it too far back or you'll do what I did. So maybe try to get a uh, straw, a spray straw. 